And first and five allegations of concerning behavior continue to follow Medina Valley's athletic director and head football coach. Members of the community have accused Lee Crisp of a wide range of incidents. They range from leaving behind a football player at an away game to making fun of another player's speech impediment. Records uncovered by our Dylan Collier show how Crisp was promoted to high ranking positions in Medina Valley despite previously failing a state drug test in connection with his commercial driver's license. If that's true, you have helped this community. Medina Valley Independent School District's board meeting was full of tense moments last month as a flurry of complaints against head football coach and athletic director Lee Crisp were brought into the light. You have the power to end this. You, you have the power to stop this here because we will not stop. January 1st, this letter signed by more than 50 community members detailed the allegations that Crisp appeared to be under the influence at several school functions, that he refused to allow a football player to ride home with the team following a game in Lockhart in October, that he made fun of another player's lisp at back-to-back -back practices last fall, and that he had rose to his prominent positions despite failing a drug screening. Days after the board meeting, a Medina Valley spokeswoman told KSAT the district does not comment on rumors or unsubstantiated allegations. But in the coach's own 2019 application for athletic director and head football coach, he admitted to failing a TxDOT drug test, writing that he took medication without a prescription. Uh, to be able to come out and get after it and, you know, coach that's 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 what it's all about a concerning concession from crisp when you consider those same records show he had a commercial driver's license with a school bus endorsement sources say crisp no longer drives athletes to and from events jeremy and o rash whose son overcame a speech impediment to become a two-year starting quarterback for medina valley said crisp targeting him has wrecked their child's confidence and to just be torn down by somebody that you look up to you know it, it's very disappointing frustration has turned from crisp who we're told was placed on leave last month to district administration which hasn't said publicly what, if anything, its investigation found. Well, they're still using that good old boy system that they've been using for years, and I think they're just, a lot of them are very close-minded. Sources familiar with the situation say Crisp was returned to work this week, even though some potential witnesses listed in the January letter were not interviewed. The Medina Valley School Board is scheduled to meet Monday night. It's not known whether his employment is up for official discussion. That's, right. That's all I need to say. Thanks. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Chris did not respond to a phone call seeking comment on the story. Records show a letter sent to a school board member as far back as August accused Chris of drinking during school hours, but a source says no action was taken. The Texas Education Agency has been made aware of several complaints against Coach Crisp. In a statement, a spokesperson tells us, quote, there is no there is currently no investigatory flag on the educator in question. TEA has received several complaints related to Medina Valley ISD. Those complaints are currently being reviewed to determine what next steps, if any, are necessary.